Previously on Cold Fear. Lansing's dead. This is Hanson. Everyone else is down. I'm CIA Special Agent Bennett, Mr. Hanson. Must be nice. You stupid son of a horse! When I get out of here, I'll kill you! Son of a bitch! Stravutia? Speak English. It doesn't matter now. What's going on here, Colonel? A terrible mistake. Find Anna. She has answers. Where is she? Locked up for protection. After that idiot, Captain Lubensky, hid in the cold storage. Now here, take this experimental. The bolts are chemically treated to distract them. It may save your life. <laughs> Hello and what? Oh, shit! Oof, that's quite a thing. Um, hello and welcome back. What we've got here is finally Colonel Yusupov. Or what's left of him anyway. He seems to be missing his head. But if you look back at that cutscene, you can see quite clearly it comes out of his abdomen. Um, alright, okay then. And he, he also seems to have something weird going on with his boots. Have they been nibbling at them? Um, and if we look at the character model here, uh, it isn't actually used in game at all. You can see that there's nothing crap on his boots, so um, I might as well take the opportunity to look at some character art from. Got a headshot and then just some model stands here. Also, additionally, uh, we could take a look at what he used to look like back when the game was quite different and being published by Namco uh, a while before the game was released. It changed quite significantly since then and we'll get to that more in uh, later videos. On the floor beside his corpse, we've got one of the few diary type items that we have to pick up. This one has key codes for a couple of doors that we need and all we have to do is pick it up, we don't actually have to read it. But it mentions that Anna was locked away because she was quite feisty and, and not really because um, anything to do with the captain. Let's see what this spear gun can do. Oh, spear gun. Finally, if you had read the uh, document from the last time, you know exactly what this does. If not, well, let's take a shot and find out. Um, that's it? It... Well, I, I guess it's stuck in the wall and it's doing... Flying off some green... No, 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 it's gone. Well then, um, let's take a look at some concept art. Here's what it looks like. It looks quite nifty, I guess. And here are some sketches of some gameplay mechanics they were initially toying with, of uh, using um, a harpoon gun. I'm guessing that the spear gun is just the, the ultimate evolution of that. Um, it's a shame they didn't have the harpoon, that would have been quite nifty, but... The spear gun serves its purpose, but we'll see more of that in a moment. Let's take a look at the objectives. Uh, Wait, how is that first one an objective? So, never mind. Let's just go outside. Mother of God, Bennett, you would not believe what I just saw. Take it easy there. I heard it all. You need to go find Captain Lubensky. Pronto. But this girl, Anna, is probably just some Russian hooker Yusupov had on board. Go find the captain before that tub you're on capsizes. Yusupov said she had answers. I'd like to do that. Hanson, I'm trying to keep you alive here. And I'm gonna keep her alive. Hanson out. Eat a dick, Bennett. Eat a dick. So, what we're gonna do now is rather than. Oh, oh, we're gonna avoid these guys first. We're gonna we'll get an opportunity to show off the spear gun. If I can manage to not be a spaz. Ah! Alright, there we go. Ah, fuck. What happens is the bad guys get this green mist around them and end up getting attracted to the harpoon that you fired out. But unfortunately, eventually it goes away and then they just come straight back at you. It's a very limited time on it, but it gives you enough time to fire a shot off, distract everyone and then run away. But um, it has very limited use and uh, really I don't use it all that much. The length of time it takes to switch to the weapon and then fire off a shot makes it just not really all that worthwhile. You might as well just melee the guy and that gives you enough time to just shoot them, and so why not do that instead? And something else you can do, if you came into the deck house when all the baddies and stuff were hanging around outside, just skip the cutscene and shoot this thing. Um, when you go back outside again, they're all gone, so you could, in theory, just miss all of those and just have them cleared out of the way, it resets and those two guys come back and that's kind of it. 
Now where do we go from here? We can't go along this way because that door got all bashed in, remember? We, we didn't know what that was. So we'll just look at some concept art here and uh, see how nicely they realised this picture and not looking quite similar to it. Uh, what we're going to do is check out these two doors. We'll try the port one first and find that, uh, no, nope, it doesn't work. But we, in reading Yusupov's journal, we do in fact have the code for this door. It's unlocked. Zombie! Oof, oh, oh, ugh. Brain fell out. It's, oh god. It's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, at least we know where the zombie guys came from. Those things crawl inside and the way it works is they stick a tendril into their brain and control them that way. What can happen from now on is that if you shoot some guys in the head, you have a chance of an exocell falling out of their neck hole. Here. Off to the engine room. Oh, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Huh, okay. Um, over on this side, behind this door, is another flight of steps that lead up to the other side of the boat. That's sort of the mirror version of the one we just came down. God, it's no wonder the lights are flickering away that the engine's fucked. Damn thing's locked from the other side. Oh, well, that's inconvenient too. Uh, let's take a look around the other direction. There must be a reason to come here. The objectives, all they say is that we have to get to the rear deck in order to get to Anna. Unfortunately, the only way to get there, so, well, the only way to go is through here, so there must be a way through somehow. We can also take a look at some concept art for this floor of the engine room. Yes, there are multiple floors. Here it is. Uh, I'm presuming it's taken just from photographs stitched together. And here's a version where everything's a little bit more lively. Unfortunately, we end up getting the version that's all dead and lifeless. Got some delicious health, give me that, and then let's go and check out what's happening downstairs. I have to find a magnetic card. Wait a minute, that door's in the other ca oh oh, Kansen's caught something. What is it, boy? These boxes okay, let's let's try and break them open. Come on. If we look at wire frame, there's there's nothing underneath them. Um, try to shoot them open. No, not that. God damn it! What the hell is in there? Stop looking! Fuck! The hell was oh 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 down to my three Ds. Can't really spend too long doing that. It's not the best place to use this. Let's just get rid of them. We'll take a look at whatever the hell that thing was hanging off the wall. Um, apparently, it's called the Mutant Exocellator. Uh, here's a nicer version of it. I wonder why they added exocells at the bottom. Um, so, ah! Fuck! Take two! And full disclosure, those exercises, they came from... I'll show you in a second. 
When the cutscene happens, it spawns two of them and they automatically start going for the corpses lying around while the cutscene is still running, so that's why they had guys running for me straight away. Since we shot those guys in the heads, the exocells went for different corpses. That's where they came from. Come on. Oh. Get back over there. Stop picking things up. <laughs> so what is the point of this thing? Well, when we start damaging it, it starts to produce exocells at a regular rate. So it's obviously something we want to get rid of. And unfortunately fire doesn't kill it straight away, so it's got it's good for two exocells while it's on fire. And they can usually fall out without catching fire themselves, so you, you have to be very careful. Ah, what is our shiny reward? Well, it looks like a SCART adapter or something. Here's the electronic key. but it ends up being a key to the propeller room door on the other side of the room so we can peg it back there but this first we'll like stop and... yes yes Tom I know it's the wrong way it leads off to the starboard cold rooms which we haven't seen yet for some reason that side doesn't show up unless you get really close <sighs> but we uh, we're not going there yet first we'll actually take a look at some concept work for this floor of the engine room Here it is once again, all brightly lit, and then again a bit more active. It's got some giant fans up at the top there. Fire extinguisher and an electricity box that we never really got to use. Didn't even get to use the red fuel valves upstairs. But as I'd said, the key is for the door over here, so let's get inside and stop looking at the boxes! Is that what I think it is? Oh, please, please, please. Ah, the good old shotgun. Ah, my sentiments exact. Oi! Eat my long range shotgun. Fuck. Ow. I didn't even shoot at him that time. Oh, fucking shambles. What the hell is that noise? Um. Uh, switch the wireframe and. Ugh, there's three guys there. What? What the hell are they screaming about? Shut up! Aha, shotgun shells. That, no, that's going to be a waste of ammo. No, not two. No, not that. Disco. No, where were we? Um, right, yeah, this door is fucking lazy. The rest of the game has some exceptional environment modelling and it looks really nice except for this door. It's just stuck against the wall and it looks like ass. So onwards into the propeller shaft room. Uh, we're definitely not going that way. Well, luckily enough there's a bridge here and Tom here is supposed to say this panel must control the bridge but I think all the creatures screaming has just stopped the game from finding an available channel to actually play the audio. Those are some very suspicious stains on the shafts right above that lower bridge. You can live life dangerously and hang off the edge. We do it down here right where this lowered platform is we can kind of clip through it this is clearly the bridge it's going to be raised right back to the platform and then we can drop into the propeller shafts that's quite messy well let's just mess with the controls while our noisy friends are over there oh gone all quiet. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I see. They scream when they can't get to me. Right. Oh, this should be fun. Oh, no. And uh, top that up. Oh. Oh, they don't just blindly walk off the edge. That's disappointing. Oh, well. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Somehow the chanty music is pretty appropriate. Well, we're done. The music's gone away. We could lift up the bridge and get on our way. Oh, uh, visitor. I might have known this wouldn't be quite so easy. I think we both know where you're going, buddy. That's never going to get old. Here's another look at that. We can see the guy in wireframe mode climbing up through the ground. He just appears underneath and busts his way up. But what we can see here is whenever I do kill him, the uh, exocell tumbles out of his neck hole. You can see it just there and falls into the propeller shafts. That's a lot of red blood for a tiny yellow blooded exocell thing. Hmm. We don't exactly need this health kit, but uh, we're not really going to be coming back here, so we might as well pick it up. There's no reason why not to. Oh, we got another one. I think he landed quite cool. Very action packed. So, Babash, you're trying to knock the exocell into the propellers. Uh, no, never mind. Whenever you try to stomp on them, it ends up rolling away and just makes your life more difficult. Oh, someone else. Working out according to plan. Bollocks, too slow. And it was while beating up this guy that I noticed something else. Um, take a look at what his left arm is doing. Is hold on a minute. Let's see that again. Is he licking his arm? Is my blood getting all over his arm and he's just licking it off? That's disgusting. It's a very nice touch though. In you go. Our shiny reward for doing this is another door to the wheeling room. Okay. It must be to get to the other side, although we can't actually get into the wheeling room to put it on the door. Um, well, first we'll just have a look at this concept art of the propeller shaft room. It's a, a lot more shiny than the actual game one. Yeah, the door leads out to the upper floor of the engine room. The objectives there said that we um, we had found the door to the rear deck, but that, that's not true. We haven't found it yet. We've just got the key to get there, which is a little odd, but well. Anyway, we're off to the starboard cold rooms. That's the door that I showed you uh, on the bottom floor of the engine room earlier before, but we didn't actually go through. Hopefully that will take us where we need to go. Up here once again we've got the door to the pump control room. Now this, since this is a, a mirror of the the way we got into the engine room, I presume that this leads up to the other coded doorway on the rear deck, but we, we still don't have the key for that, so that's something to keep an eye out for, I guess. Brief moment here, just to pick up some ammo and stuff. And then we are on our way to the starboard cold rooms. Wait a minute, this is just a room. Oh shit! Quite unlike the cutscene, the exosuls don't climb into their mouths, they just sort of stick a tendril into the corpse and then explode. <laughs> and then the guys wake up, it's kind of silly. And here's the reason why this game isn't particularly hard. There we go, all the way up to almost full health again. 
Now, if they had just the med kits and maybe places like the sick bay, this the game would be a lot harder and I think more like a survival horror, but it's more arcadey like this. Here's how the exocells react to the spear gun. They just jam their tendrils into it. it must be very tasty. One moment. Disco. Not a lot else to say about this room. It's kind of just a connecting room between the engine and the next room we have coming up ahead of us. Oh my. Ah! Fuck! I'm gonna have no truck with this shit. No. 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 I wonder who would do something like this. I mean, these are... I mean, I know Tom's got some problems, but come on, who the hell hangs up corpses this way? I mean, these are really heavy as well. I mean, what's gonna have the strength to lift up um, seven of them? I mean... Hmm. This is getting more troubling as time goes on. The damn thing's stuck. I hope it's not the predator. Must be beside the wheeling room. There's the fish door up there. We'll get to that in a moment. But here we've got um, two doors in the cold room three. Well, and there's there's no water pressure keeping us out, so let's have a look inside. Oh, more documents. So I'm going to show here is if we look down the end of this pipe, we can see a what looks like a fuel valve, except it's yellow. If we should add it, it sets off a, a blast of coldly icy air in our face. I think what's supposed to happen is when you pick up that document, it's supposed to, as it does here, set itself off automatically. And where the contents of that uh, of Yusupov's journal hints towards some kind of experiments. Ah, huh, interesting. Maybe these. Capsules have something to do with that. They do look like capsules, right? And they are open. Here's cold room number four, and oh, we'll just do a quick head count. <laughs> head count. <laughs> These corpses are suspended by pretty thick ropes of chain here. And uh, up there we've got the fish door, which has got that stupid wheel light thing going on again. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. Oh, I, I guess there must be a lot of water on the other side. Oh well, um, let's see what's behind door number four. More capsules. Um, these ones are closed, but there doesn't appear to be anything inside. Here's some concept art for the capsules. They look pretty swanky. What is something like that doing on a ship like this? Ah! Burn! There's not really anything actually in this room. We've just got some ammo and two um, health kits. We only really need one right now. Ah. We go. We've checked out all of the doors. It's it's time to head into the the fish wheel room, I guess. It's unlocked. Ah! Luckily, in this room, the exocells don't pop out of the guy's necks. That's in certain rooms. They're um, they're specifically set so that that sort of thing can't happen. You can see that it. The damn thing's stuck. Oh, this door is now a one-way door, and we can't get back. Huh. That means if if we want to go back, we have to do an entire loop of the place, going through the rear deck again. Ah. Uh, Another look around here, I'll just mention something that was in one of the earlier documents. It says that the exocells are generally attracted to large sources of protein, which would probably explain why they're in the whale. Some nice concept art of this room. We're clearly missing the whale. And 
if they didn't come from the whale, then, then where did they come from? Whether you broke the electricity box before now or not, it will always be broken whenever you reach this point in the game. So that pretty much guarantees that you're going to have to get through this electrified water at some point or another. Very slowly. Using your run meter barely increases your speed at all. Ah! I fucking hate that so much. But it's good that it's in the game. It adds on predictability. And remember this door, I was wondering where the hell it went to. Well, after checking the maps of the ship, it turns out that it's that door in the dormitory that I couldn't get through. And also explains why there's sort of smoke coming under the door. Because that on the other side was on fire at one point. Well, let's go stock up on ammo. We can get to refill that shotgun of ours. Easily my favourite weapon. Some concept art of some like an ammo boxy type thing. Right, and Anna's just around the corner. Here's the door, but first we're going to look at some more concept art. In this room, this... Ah, rats! You may remember this room as the one where the light sort of goes out, so we'll not go any further, but this apparently ends up being one of the kennels. We don't have any animals actually in the cages in the game itself, but here's what it would look like. And in the other room... Ah! Rats! This is the room with the dead monkey with the fly on its eyeball. The concept art for this is slightly, a slightly different arrangement in the room. There's a, a row of boxes down the middle and there's obviously no primate sitting there. But that's enough for now. Let's go and meet our new friend. Well, I hope she likes me. I really hope she does. Do you think she'll like me? It's unlocked. Anna? Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Tom Hansen. I'm a friend. Why should I believe you? Because I'm here and you're not dead. Where is Dimitri? Yusupov's dead. Good. The bastard deserved it. So can you tell me what the hell is going on here? He said you had some answers. He lied. I don't have answers. Then who does? Papa does. We can radio him. He will know what to do. What the fuck is Papa? Anyway, I love Tom's first reply here. I think you and I are linked, Hanson. We will both make it through this, or neither of us will. I vote for both. I don't think you have a choice. What the fuck? I swear the voice actor for Tom just fucking went to town to make him a dick. What a bell end. Got a letter here to Anna from Kamsky. She is Anna Kamsky, and Kamsky is her father. And who is Kamsky? Uh, we'll find out later. Anyway, so um, our objectives say we need to take care of her. It's a matter of life or death. Life or death, you say? Save your ammunition. Well, Tom's guns do need ammo. <laughs> anyway, she takes two hits and then she dies. Oh, what the hell was that? And she takes only one headshot. Anna. There it is again. What is that? Anna will go into a kind of wary defensive mode if you fire um, anywhere near her. Or just fire at all. Ah. <laughs> Anna. A huge shape behind Tom. Hansen, I've got an idea on the girl. She's Victor Kamsky's daughter. It is vital that you keep her alive. Yes, I'm signed. So? I'm telling you that she's valuable. Guard her with your life. I'll keep her alive. You better. If she dies, it's all over. Why is it all over if she dies? That makes no sense. Um, okay, well. Oh, hello, friend. Meet my shotgun. I wonder how Anna deals with this kind of thing. She's a go-getter. I'm sure she'll be able to handle it. One hit, she's holding her side and she's not looking very well, and dies on the second. Anna! All in all, do not let her get anywhere near the AI. So eventually, she gets out of her wary state and just starts standing around. Um, we'll take a, take a look at some of these doors. We need to hurry. Oh, 
guess we're guess we're not going inside there. Um, we need to hurry. Yes, I hear. We need to hurry. Be quiet. We need to hurry. Shut up. I'm not able to get through this door, and this was the one that we saw getting all bashed and mangled up from the other side. Doesn't look quite so bad here, but no, we can't open it. Out of my way, woman! It's armory time. Maybe we can get you a gun. Ah! Oh, my precious bullets! Oh no! Uh, hold on. Why is the room so small? There's a tiny little room in there. There's a bunch of boxes and pipes. That's what? If we look at the wireframe, uh, we can see that behind that door, that little room's been there the whole time with the boxes and the crap, and it's, it's just not been on fire or anything. That's that's really weird. And there's uh, something else here. I'll just kill this guy. We're going to make use of him in just a second. The way that explosion happens is that you walk uh, into a certain area and uh, just in front of the door and it triggers. But if we stand just outside the area and interact with this corpse, it, it, we'll continue to do our animation and it'll skip most of the getting knocked back. All that happens is that we get a shorter animation of just falling on our arse. We can also make use of this fire to slowly burn ourselves to death. The life meter doesn't even get all the way down to the bottom, just about a, like a third of the way down. We just catch fire and die that way. And it does not approve. Well, Anna, let's see what you think of this. We'll set ourselves on fire and then kill you. Ah! And because of the timings of things, we don't get that cutscene. We just get a normal burning to death, even though she dies. Murder suicide. Anna. Hey, Anna. What you thinking about? Anna. Bitch. We can also go down the steps to the wheeling room. Uh, luckily, Anna doesn't follow us for obvious reasons. Isn't the radio room. Yeah, no shit. Through we go. And here we have to be pretty quick because she pegs it all off on her own. And we need to get up here before this fucking zombie gets to her. Why she couldn't spawn behind us, I don't know. But this is just ridiculous. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was awesome. Why are you clipping through the wall? Um, uh, okay. A little bit of randomly going into rooms for no particular reason. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Great, it's locked. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. And while we're here, we can get an update on our little shotgun hidden in here. Uh, hey. Hey, where's it gone? It was you, wasn't it? You took it. You took it. What are you doing? Ah! Anna! Ah! I'll never forgive you. Let's go. Boing, 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 boing. Still staring at Anna. He's infatuated with her. Let's go check out the captain's room, see if that's... Uh, no, it's still locked. What's taking so long? I'm not allowed in the showers either. What about the galley? Oh, that works. The reason we're allowed to go through here is there's a possibility that the fire at the end of the corridor out there, um, you can play the game without putting that fire out. And this just makes sure we've always got a way of getting around. Um, you've seen a body before, haven't you? Um, okay. Anna? Yes. Yes, it's a, a, a body, yeah. Come on now, you've got a bit of an unhealthy fascination with this thing. We, sh we should really move on. Um, come on, we'll just move you out of the way and... Oh, great, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Anna. I'm stuck. Um, move, come on. Ah, there we go, okay. Now, um... Well, since you're not going to move on your own, I'll, I'll have to do it for you. Here, we're moving at six times speed. 
There we go. Right, now, stay there. Um, d uh, stay. Right. We can kind of just... I'll speed this up and we, we can just go up to the corpse again and... Um, oh, Anna. Come on. Well, fine, fine. If you want to stay here with your lovely corpse, then you do that. If you like him more than me, then go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As we come through the door, Anna legs it off ahead of us. She's got certain specific positions that she'll sort of stand in to kind of stay out of the way of things. And here she would have ran through the fire. Um, that kind of gives me an idea. So what I did is play through the entire game again without putting off that fire. Let's see if we can burn her. Burn her! Anyway, yes, uh, there's a couple of things I didn't do on my way through just to get over quickly. I didn't kill these exocells, so we'll get rid of them, cause any fuss. Names. Hit through the galley. Um, this time I didn't trigger the corpse, so she's not all that fussed about standing around. I nip back up and actually trigger it, but because it wasn't there whenever she walked in, I mean, she'll look at it, but she's not transfixed by it anymore, so she'll follow me around. As well coded AI should. As well coded AI sh there, hello. Ah, uh, no. No, it didn't work. Um, but well, what we can't do is just help her along, just give her a bit of a nudge. Bear with me for one moment. Feeling ha 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 there we go. Anna! And that's about it. We just have to nip up here and go into the radio. No, yes, yeah, I know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Next time on Cold Fear. Just wipe it off first.